Yo guys, it's Lyra, you already know, welcome back to another episode of our Digimon World Let's Play, and on the last episode, we did take on some bandits, and we did uh, go exploring on the Great Canyon area and stuff like that, and I wasn't sure where to go, but I am sure where to go now, so if you are hyped for this episode, make sure that you hit that like button, and leave a comment saying you're spelling your name backwards. So, let's get into this today. Um, I do actually, I did end up having to look up a walkthrough, which I didn't, I really shouldn't have, because there's in-game clues that tell you where you need to go, and, uh, we're gonna go there. However, we are broke, and it ain't a joke, because I ain't laughing, and we are recovery items, oh my gosh, we have, like, none, so... I may have to do some wheeling and dealing, but anyway, we're going to talk to Yerimon because this is um, kind of the cue that gives you a hint, I believe. Are the bandits defeated? I heard there's a gang of bandits. Oh, okay, well, he doesn't. But, yeah, the bandits are not gone, and we do need to get the bandits, and then there will be a Digimon after the bandits that we need to get. I'm going to the item bank for a couple of reasons. I'm going to drop off this defense chip, and I'm going to see if there's things that I can sell. I can sell these two medicines. I can sell this bandage. Oops, 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 not an offense chip. Uh, because I have a clinic open now. I have a clinic open now, so I can sell them. Hold, hold on, let's go out. So I can sell them for money, and then I can buy MP floppies and stuff like that, because we are going to need a bunch. Um, however, before I... Dang it, come on, over, work, thank you. I am actually going to get rid of this war cry, and I am going to... That's 186. I'm going to actually put on Sonic Jab uh, in case I need to have... An attack that doesn't eat up up eat up all my MP. But alright, so here's three pieces of giant meat. That's cool. That is pretty awesome. Also, we need to talk to Tanamon. Have you heard? There's a strange plant growing in tropical jungle. Oh yeah, I planted a rain plant right there. It bears fruit every year around the 15th. You may take those. For what? So that basically tells you, um, remember that area I was looking in that was like, oh, there's nothing here. This is the trigger. So right now it's day 12, so on day 15. There will be a special thing right there that we need to get, and uh, you know what? I will just wait until that day comes. Um, but speaking of which, uh, like we gotta go to the item shop. Speaking of which, uh, this may be the last episode that we have our Tyrannomon. It depends because from age like 12 and up, there's a chance that your Digimon can die, uh, which is not as bad as it sounds because death is a natural part of life, and. Uh, it's, it, like, like, like I've already said before, you can't really get through this game on, uh, one life or whatnot. So I need to buy some more MP floppies and an autopilot. Shoot. So basically I can buy three MP floppies and an autopilot. And I just hope that I am okay. Alright, so see ya. You know what? Maybe we don't need that many MP floppies. We might be okay. We might be okay. I don't know. I guess we'll find out. But yeah, um, our Tyranimon is probably going to hit an end soon. We're going to try and do as much as we can uh, with him alive. But, you know, you know, you know, if we can't, and we have to start another whole Digimon thing, then uh, we're going to do that. We're going to do that. I should have actually planned because there is kind of a certain Digimon I'm looking for, or a certain type of Digimon rather, to have as my second Digimon to bring up uh, in this playthrough. And I will be showing all the training. Uh, wait, should I get that? No, I'm not going to get Digimushrooms because there's going to be a lot of chips in the places that I'm going and a lot of other items to pick up. So I'm going to make sure that I have as much room as I can. I there is a way to expand the amount of items that you can hold, which honestly I should probably do, but I just can't be bothered to do that right now because I'd rather just make more progress in the game than to worry about something like that at this point in time. But, yeah, actually, I wonder if it'll show up now. Now that I've talked to Tanamon, it might show up. Yep, yep, now there's a strange plant. You see that? Wow, interesting, it's sprouting. Wonder what it is. Moved a little bit. Is this a mysterious plant everyone is talking about? Everyone meaning Tanamon? It's wilting. If I don't do anything, it'll die. Going to use some items? I don't have any items to use on it yet. Yet. Give me three days and I'll be back, fam. It's okay. 
it is okay. All right, so we do need to go over here. Um, while we have some downtime before any action happens, um, I wanted to already, this may seem a little early because we are nowhere near done the end of this LP, but I think the support on this series has been really good. And uh, I was wondering, perhaps, if in the future, you guys would be interested in a Digimon World 3 LP. Oh my gosh, that's so loud, but we need to go this way now. What? Yeah, I just stopped myself there. Hold on. I'll get back to that. <laughs> Let's walk around in circles for a little bit. I felt the ground move. Was it in my imagination? Oh, maybe I tried to... Wait. I thought... There we go. Wait, how do we trigger this? What? No way. Okay, there we go. Ah, we fell. <laughs> so, what I was going to say is... Oh, snap. We did. We died. Alright, so that's the end. He has his butt on my face. Really? That's... That's, uh... Not necessary. <laughs> Bay, you alright? Guess it hurts. I'm sorry. Let's go. Yeah, how would you guys feel uh, about Digimon World 3? I don't know if, if Digimon World 3 is as nostalgic to any of you guys as Digimon World 1 is, but it is a game that's pretty nostalgic to me, and I got nowhere near as far in that game as I have in this game. So I think it'd be really cool. Uh, Digimon World 2 I actually looked into, and that game looks freaking terrible. It's just not my style. It kind of seems like it combines... Uh, it's like a... It, I don't know. I compare it kind of like Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. For, like, the overworld things. Oh, dang it. San Yanmamon. I don't even think I can run from this fight. I probably can. But, yeah, Digimon World 2 is, like, the overworld is kind of like Mystery Dungeon. And then... Oh, my gosh. That's so much. All right. There's that. Dang it. There's not that. And, um, the battle is, like, really slow RPG, like... I don't even know how to describe it, but it, it is really slow gameplay. So I am not a fan of Digimon World 2, just looking it up. So, but Digimon World 3, um, it's definitely more RPG-like, but uh, it's really... Oh, I missed! Are you kidding me? Yeah, and um, Digimon World 3, yeah, it's definitely more like RPG. You got your random encounters. It reminds me... Kind of like a Final Fantasy type of deal, or Chrono Trigger type deal. I, I don't really know what to compare it to, but it definitely reminds me of stuff like that. So that'd be, I think, pretty interesting, potentially. Um, and I'd like to hear your feedback on things like that. So we did just waste time with that stupid fight. We also wasted HP and MP. MP is the thing that I'm really concerned about right now. I'm hoping that we can find some MP floppies or like medium MPs, things like that. Alright, so there's that Weedmon. We can knock it into any more fights that are unnecessary. We want to go in here, I think. Elevator. Hit up. Is this right? This isn't right. That's not right. Let's go back down. Let's see... Alright, so please get out of my face. Can we go this way? Where do we go? Do we go back here? I think we go back here. Fortress entrance. We found it. So we are going into the Bandit's Fortress. Uh, Ogremon and Agumon and all them. This is, we are going to go to their fortress. There's an Agumon right there. So, uh, let's go. You're an Ogremon bandit. This is your hideout. What are you talking about? You were lucky last time. Give up. Wow. Uh, uh, uh. He just runs away. So we are in the fortress. Oh, and this music is so cool. Oh, snap. Go away. I want to dodge as many fights as I can. Did I really just do that? No, they're all fighting me. That's not happening. Uh, 
You know what? Ah, oh, crap. Crap, crap, crap. Why am I so bad? I'm supposed to be really good. I'm supposed to be really good. Okay, he's using Tremor. Your call. Your call. Slow it down. Please, please, please slow it down. Don't use your prominence beam. Aw, oh, dang it. I wish I had the, um, the moderate command where he wouldn't use that. Look at how much that does. Wait for them to kill themselves. All right, all right, all right. We're okay. Do whatever you want. Do whatever you want, man. Punch him, please. Something. Oh. All right, you might as well attack him at this point. Whatever. We use the small recovery. We got our health up. And we beat the unnecessary fight. The thing that I said that I was going to try and dodge. But uh, I kind of failed. Whoops. I should have trained. I should have trained his brains up, but we did get money. Money is always important to have. What do we get? We got a double flop. Who? Who? It's LeBron James playing in a basketball game twice at the same time. Double flop. All right, recovers 1500 at MP and HP. That is perfect. That is perfect. That is something that we need. Did Ogre Fortress? Ogre Fortress. Dang it! Go away. All right, that one's going away, so it's going to be a one v one. That does happen sometimes. I think that's the thing that if uh, they're the same type, there's a chance that they will not fight you. And uh, that's really good. Alright, so let's use an MP floppy. Um, that's why things like this, like, there are some unnecessary battles. You can actually dodge that first room, all of them in the first room. You can dodge the ones in this room. But I just kind of didn't. I failed at it. I didn't react in time. And uh, I failed. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I've done goofed. Man, I only got 100 bits. That sucks. Yo, I... Dang it! Go away! That was scary. Alright, so we got a thing here. What's this? That is an autopilot. Oh, that's cool. So we... I didn't even need to buy one. Good to know. Alright, so we need to go in this way. I believe... Oh, I believe we have two fights left. Although it would be really funny if I could do it. I actually watched a speedrun and there is a way to get past these three Agumon, believe it or not. I don't think I can do it. But it had something to do with like going up towards the fridge and like like going back like one, two, three, and then like bam. And then he just like went through, but I couldn't do it. I, I don't know, man. So I'm just going to fight it because I, I don't know the super speedrunny tricks to get through these Agumons. So I'm just not going to. Hopefully, I can... Oh, nice and blocked. Oh, my gosh. That was a waste of MP. You're calling, man. You're calling, man. Do whatever you need to. Alright, they're, they're outspeeding me. Oh, this is terrible. Come on. Come on. Attack. Oh, my goodness. I can't even get an attack in. How do I do this? He blocked it! Oh my goodness. This is a big problem. This is a huge problem. They're all hitting me at the same time. How? Oh my goodness. How do I attack, 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 attack? Get him! Uh, I'm gonna run out of MP so bad. Small recovery. Uh, 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 I lost my finisher. Of course I did. Oh, he hit the other two. Good job, good job. <sighs> Probably gonna have to use this double flop. Yeah, let's use it. Now I have no way of restoring my MP. This is going to be a problem. Uh, if I can land these hits, then maybe the last battle won't be so bad. Just attack, just attack. I definitely need to train up an MP more. My stats are actually pretty bad compared to to like what you can have at this point in the game while still getting stuff done um 
I don't know. I like I could have definitely done a better job training, but I didn't, and that's on me. And this is kind of the aftermath of all that. But Agumon's gonna drop a small recovery, which is really good. So let's get that small recovery. Even though I really wish he would have dropped a medium or an MP floppy or something, but uh, the same Digimon will drop like the same item thing. So like Agumon will always drop like a small recovery if they do drop something. Same with Madoki Betamon. Uh, Gaborimon's always drop meat if they drop anything. Things like that. So, but we have made it to the final. Oh dang it, we've made it to the final room. Okay, that's right. They don't attack us. What are you? Portable potty. I don't really need that right now. Actually, I do appreciate uh, that, but yeah, alright, let's go. Hey! What? You come here to lose? I hope not. That's my line. I'm holding nothing back this time. I'll make you cry. Alright, so my, wor my, my concern here is that we won't have enough MP to win the battle. Um, however, the silver lining is we should be attacking Ogremon only, and Ogremon has that rock attack that attacks everybody. Plus, we do have our uh, finisher, if worse comes to worse, so you're never truly out of a battle. And we have enough recovery items to get to our finisher a couple times. Uh, small recovery. Oh, he keeps interrupting our attack, though. That's not good. Alright, alright, alright. I don't mind if he attacks me, but if I get an attack off, I want to hit it. There, kill your Akumon. Ki or kill your Agumon, please. Bam! Alright, we're doing a lot of damage. A finisher may take him out. Alright, small recovery. Let's go. Ugh. He does need to hit his rocks once. Alright, this is going to be our last attack we can use. He does not block it, so that's good. Actually, we can probably do a Sonic Jab or two, but we are barely going to make it. Use your rock. Use your rock. We're going to beat Ogremon before we beat that one Agumon. Alright, now we are at zero. We're exactly at zero MP. So now I just need to stall out. Wait for him to use his rocks. There we go. That's one dead Agumon. And... There's that. That Agumon is running around just like not getting hit. That's pretty funny. Alright, that Agumon is kind of doing his thing. Oh, he's coming after me. Okay, he did not interrupt me. That's a dead Ogremon. And then it's 1v1 with Agumon. Unfortunately, I do have to stall him out until I get my finisher again. So, um, I may just speed up this part of the battle. I don't know. Actually, I probably will. I'm just going to speed it up. I will see you on the flip side. Alright, so we have successfully executed a finisher, so that's going to put this Agumon out of his misery. I was really trying to not, I really didn't want to, like, have my finisher there and then have him interrupt my finisher. That would have been really bad for me, so I wanted to make sure that didn't happen. And Agumon's going to drop something, an HP chip. Agumon's going to drop small recovery, and the other Agumon is going to drop, oh, Spitfire, didn't I already learn Spitfire? I guess not, alright. I thought I already learned that. Uh, that's a stupid move out of all the moves they use. That's the one I learned. Spitfire sucks. It's like the basic one that you get with Agumon. Wow. Oh, no. Yep, they run away. They already know. Darn it. Oh, snap. He's doing that little trick. What is it? What is it? What? Bye, dumb guys. Darn, he got away. There is an escape elevator. Chasing him will do no good. Alright then. Got an HP chip. We got this. Uh, we do not have any way to heal our MP. But what is this? So what, we can't even go this way? Nah, let's not get in yet. 
Yeah, let's get in. Let's see where this goes. Oh, it goes here. Okay. I think there's one other place we can go? I was gonna say, just don't be littered. I was say, there shouldn't be any Digimon left here, actually. This place should be ours for the exploring. And there's one thing I want to check out. Is that right? Oh. Is this where we came? Yeah, this way. We can now go this way. And I think there's stuff back here. Right? Uh, what is this room? Oh, okay, yeah, there's a couple things here. Special super offense disc. Ooh, that's really good. What is this? Come on, open. Offense chip. All right, well, guess what? Porta potty, you are getting dropped. Because I do not need you at this time, and I can buy you whenever I want. So we got ourselves an offense chip. That is powerful. That is nice and powerful. I do believe that there is... What is this? Can I get to it from here? I can. Sirloin. I can't hold it anymore. Uh, sirloin is actually... Um, it's like giant meat, but it's more. Uh, I'm going to drop this piece of giant meat. To get the sirloin. Sirloin fills a Digimon up more so than giant meat. And uh, yeah, that is that. However, we do not have uh, any MP to get... Oh, what is this? I missed one? Oh, a defense chip. Oh, no, I need that. Um, You are going to eat the sirloin. I'm very sorry. <laughs> All right, so we got ourselves a defense chip. Um, yeah, we don't have any MP to do anything else to get into any other unnecessary battles. But we do need to get into battles. So I'm going to have to fly back to the city with this. Buy some MP floppies and then come back out here. Um, I say why not just add it on to this episode. So I'll do this part really quick. I'm going to store things in the item bank. I'm going to buy some MP floppies, and then I'm going to go right back to where we were. So I'm actually just going to stop this here, and I'll just see you guys on the flip side again. So I'll see you there. Alright, so we are back up at the Great Canyon area. I decided to, um, to resume the recording here at this part of the Great Canyon so I can show you where to go step by step. Um, if I remember correctly, because I don't think you have to go the whole way back down to the Ogre Fortress. Pretty sure you can go this way, and uh, now the scary bandit music isn't playing anymore, which is really good for us. And I just need to make sure, I think where we went the last time when I was exploring uh, on the last episode was correct. That was the right way to go. Um, however, alright, that's not the right way to go. That's right, we need to go this way. Uh, what is that? What is that? Prickly pear. Alright, we'll look at that. Actually, you know what? I think I do need to go to the Bandit Fortress. But can we get to it from this way? I think we can. Yeah, we can. Or something like that. Where are we at? Wait, now we're down here. Uh, I don't know. You're hungry. Ooh, this is going to be a bit of a longer episode um, because I don't want to just do the bandits. I do want to get more than one thing done. No, don't you dare. Are you kidding me? I'm running. That was absolutely ridiculous. Also, I forgot to tell you that uh, off screen or like while I was recording or whatever. Um, I just trained up a bunch of MP and then I went to sleep. So, that's basically what I did. Uh, oh, I'm back on this screen. And I need to go back down. Alright, let's feed you up here. Because... The game was... That was freaking ridiculous on the game's part. The fact that uh, they're going to have the Moochamon come and get me like that. Like... That was absolutely ridiculous. I did not appreciate that at all. 
because Moochmon is such an easily dodgeable Digimon. Come on. Oh, there we go. Faked him out, crossed him over, hit that Kobe. Let's get that jump shot going. And uh, let's go out this way again. I guess we do have to go through the fortress to get to that one far. I don't think you do. I think there's another way to get there. I just don't remember how. So I'm just going to go the long way. But we are going for one Digimon specifically. And uh, that Digimon is Shellmon. Shellmon is a Digimon that appeared very early in the Digimon anime. It was uh, the episode that Agumon evolved in, Digivolved into Greymon. It was the Digimon that he took out. So, yeah, Shellmon is like super OG, which is really cool. You can actually get your own Shellmon in this game as well. There are most Digimon that appear here. You can get your own, but, um, all right, so let's get in. But yeah, there's some in here that you can't. I'd say most of the Digimon, most of like the main storyline Digimon that you run into, like a lot of the ones that you recruit, um, you're able to get on, like, you're able to raise as well. So let's see if we can do this right. All right, so let's go to the Great Canyon Bridge. I think this is right. Uh, here. Is this? Oh, I don't even know if we're going the right way. But we do have to take on this Gaborimon. Um, if you're okay with this longer episode, make sure you let me know, and I can make the rest of the recordings about as long. Probably not. I'm recording super far in advance. I'm not even going to lie. Go ahead. Hit that prominence beam. Let's go. Attack. Thank you. Oh, that's annoying. And I bought 10 MP floppies. <clears throat> Prickly pear, all it does is lower its weight. That is interesting. Very interesting. But that's going to take out the Gaborimon. I know we need to get somewhere... That triggers something. Got some more money. We're now up to 550 bits because I spent literally everything on MP floppies and I bought like three small recoveries. Uh, here we go. Help me. I hear a voice from above. Anybody there? Anybody there? Yes, there is. Help me. The ground is bulging up. You gotta be kidding. <laughs> No, it's true. I hear some machinery noise. What? A machine? It must be coming from Ogremon's hideout. Oh, you must have done something wrong there, no? I did many things. It could be the elevator. I'll go back to the hideout and check. Thanks. All right, so let's go back to the hideout. I don't remember the specific steps I need to do, but we're going to figure them out together. We're going to figure them out together. We're not actually because I have to be the one to figure them out. Uh, because I'm the one that's sitting here playing the game. But, um, maybe you know what, uh, you know, if you know, if you figured it out, then uh, you can have the fun of yelling at the screen and yelling at me telling me that I'm doing things wrong. That is like a fun thing that you can do if you want. So I think this is where that room becomes important. So let's go here. Boom, 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 I think we need to shut something off in there. So let's go in here. So maybe I went to this room prematurely. I could have come back here and did it all in one swoop, but I didn't. I think there is a thing over here that we need to turn off. Is it this? Uh, I mean, this is a machinery noise, is it not? Okay, I don't know what I'm doing. Awesome. Uh, I maybe there isn't anything here. Huh. Let's go back. Let's go back. I'm going to try one thing. If this isn't it, then I'm going to have to look it up and find out how to get it. Because I always get stuck on this stupid Shellmon. It's not even like a hard Digimon to get, but it is. And I don't know why. And for some reason, this Digimon will forever evade me for like how to unlock it and how to recruit it. Like I'll never, I'll never be able to remember and I don't know why. Uh, I don't have room for a Digimushroom. Oh, speaking of Digimushroom, freaking... 
We're already out of giant meats? Oh my goodness. Maybe I'll feed him a prickly pear. I'm gonna feed you this I'm gonna feed you this prickly pear. Take that. Lower your weight. Hey, now he's full. <laughs> so I guess it worked. Alright, so I guess. Oh no. Moochamon, go away. Oh, we did it. We got them skills though. Alright, so let's go back up. Hit up. If this doesn't work, then I don't know what will. But I do believe this is how we do it. And if this is the way, then I will be super freaking happy. I know this is the way, but I don't know if you need to do something first before going this way or not. But we do have to go into freeze land momentarily. Just to go back into not freeze land. I don't know how a Great Canyon and a freeze land are right next to each other. But that is the Digimon world for you. Yes, we did it. Did I already get this item? Yes, this is Shelmon. You saved me. So it was you. This is perfect. What? I was headed towards your city to put my talent to good use. What kind of talent? Oh, you don't know about me? I'm famous with Digimon as a know-it-all. Oh, that's that's good. That's good. I love know-it-all. I'm ready to go to the city. Is she? Oh, that's right. It's a she. Is she really going to be useful? See ya. <laughs> there, you get a female voice right at the end. Man, you're going to hop the whole way to that city? Dang. Dang diggity dang. All right, so I will... I'll, I'll quickly show off what, what she does. And, um, yeah, and I'll show you. I'll probably show it off at the beginning of the next episode because I don't know how many people stick stuck around to the very end of this episode. But if you did, uh, let me know because that is really freaking cool. And we do still have Tyranimon, which is good. However, yeah, I don't really know. Oh, wait, wait. Here's Shelmon's billboard. Look, it's my special bulletin board. We need information for the city, so I decided to make a newspaper. What do you think? You can count on me to collect top, top information, and there's stuff. So, Hidden Treasure, a cool shop in Gear Savannah. The shop is only open from 1st to 15th each year. The shop manager is proud of his rare items. What else is there? Back? Legendary Digimon. Rumor has it there's a cold weather Digimon in Friesland. Mr. M was saved by this monster. It looked like a big snowball. Digimon who are not used to the cold, be careful. All right, we'll have to uh, look into that. A guardian for the lake. Lake guardian is that Dragon Eye Lake Digimon creature that becomes a guardian, which has come true. Maybe. Uh, UFO is near Mount Panorama. The UFO looks like a silver dish with light coming from the bottom. Is an alien. More information to come. And bandits are gone. Slyro found the hideout led by Ogremon. However, Ogremon is loose, and people are still worried. So we're gonna stop reading. Uh, we're gonna go to the bathroom, and that's going to end off the episode. On the next episode, I may look into the whole Friesland thing to see if Tyranimon can uh, is eligible for that there if not I think we've basically done all we can do and I will probably um, yeah I think he's done basically all he can do and I'll probably just train or waste time until the end of his life is there because I'm not entirely sure what else I can do I'll I will keep, I'll keep looking around. Actually, uh, yeah, I'll keep, I'll keep hunting for what we might be able to do. But um, that's going to be that. If you did enjoy this episode, make sure you hit that like button. Um, answer the question today as always, and until the next time, guys, stay sly.